So this is to be my largest tangential arrangement glue up to date. We are using 36 staves that were ripped at 9.5 degrees and I actually got glue up on video this time. We're going to be using a two part epoxy on this for the glue up. Gives us about an hour's worth of working time which is nice when we have so many pieces to work with. I assemble these in two hose clamps horizontally. I then turn vertically to get it over the lower cone. I tighten up the hose clamp on the upper third. I can then loosen that up to give me my upper diameter and we are clamping away. Once the glue has fully cured on our blank, we'll mount it to the lathe by use of a waste block mounted onto a face plate. We'll first form this waste block to match the cone on one end of our blank. Once we've done that, we'll use some hot glue and a live center on our tailstock. We'll be able to rough this out to a cylinder shape. Now I should have taken a little bit more time and removed the rest of the epoxy from the outer perimeter of our cylinder. Caused a little extra sanding later on in the project, but anyways, moving on. We are going to square up the bottom side and top side of our cylinder so we can mark it properly to bring to the bandsaw and cut in half. Once we remove the Face plate off of our waste block. We can then mark our cylinder in our designated half that we want. And then we're going to want to make a nice straight line to follow when we're putting this through the bandsaw. In order to create this line down our cylinder walls, we'll first mark our halves and then flip our blank on its side, finding a natural sitting position in our bed. We can reach underneath and mark a straight line. Marking both edges. We can then bring it to the bandsaw and slice it in half. My intention behind this project was to end up with two identical bowls that would nest on each other's wavy rim. Kind of like a clam would. Concave to concave versus the traditional nesting method of convex to concave. I was able to remove the waste block with a firm whack from a hammer, being that it was attached with hot glue. We then went to the drill press and created a relief in the arc perpendicular to our cut. This also created a center point to where we can use a woodworm screw to attach it to the lathe. Before attaching it to the lathe, I went ahead and cut these four sharp corners off as they'll just get turned away anyways.
We're now going to give the bottom of this bowl some shape. When we like it, we're then going to create a dovetail mortise that we can flip this around and mount it to the jaws to hollow the inside out. Once this dovetail mortise is formed, we create a smaller, shallower mortise on the inside here. This one will be used to mount a small nameplate at the end. When we're happy with the shape of the bottom and the outside, and we have also taken note of all of the specifications so we can repeat this whole process one more time. We'll be ready to flip this around, take that woodworm screw out of the jaws, and then mount this bowl into the jaws. We'll be ready to hollow out the inside and move to our second bowl. So we're finishing up this first bowl with a beeswax finish and we're going to install this nameplate medallion on the bottom 
And then on to the second. So second verse, same as the first. I'm not going to make you watch this all over again. We'll just move on to the finish. 